Hello everyone and welcome to Stream High Jinx in Flight Sim 2020. During a recent Twitch livestream I took viewer requests as far as where I should fly and originally I didn't plan on recording it for YouTube or anything that would take more processing power so I didn't want to do that but it turned out that the flights were pretty interesting so I, I got the stream recording of it from Twitch and that's not as good a quality as my own recording would have been but I think it suffice and the flights were interesting enough that I decided I should make a YouTube video out of it. So that first flight was with the Cessna C28 caravan and that was over Lima, Peru. This is the Savage Cub over Plymouth or the Plymouth area. I ended up overstressing that. I was originally supposed to fly to Boston but then I flew this Shock Ultra at Boston taking off from uh, Logan International here and you can see the Boston skyline. This is how they have the airport in here, uh, looking pretty good I think, but I'm not that familiar with uh, Boston International, so. The harbor looked pretty spiffy, again I don't know if this is how it's supposed to look, but it was pretty convincing, that ship is very very convincing right there, those ships. Uh, the downtown area, a little bit generic, but I, I don't know how it's supposed to be, but they, they seem to be autogen buildings, very generic-ish. This is a little bit fancier though, as we go down this highway. We were headed to Tufts University, by request. So I flew around the vicinity of Tufts and found a parking lot that I decided to land in and we'll pick up my original commentary here. Parking lot is not bad, no, but I know that we the cars are crashable though. Oh, but those are just images on the ground, those aren't real cars. Oh boy. It's a little bit fast. What are these lights suspended in midair? What is this magic? Oop. There's a lot of crap down here. There's really jagged edges. Oop. What is going on in this parking lot? This is like a bad corner of Los Santos or something. These are obviously supposed to be trees. Over here. Those are like tree stumps. Interesting. So after that little experience, I decided to fly the Pipstrel virus at Cape Canaveral, taking a look at the VAB. The, everything was pretty generic, uh, though placed well. The launch pads didn't have launch pad stuff on them, just random buildings. Uh, but then I decided to play around with the weather settings, thanks to a viewer's suggestion. And so this is what happened with that, and we're back to original commentary. Let's uh, let's check. Maybe we can increase the wind or something. Um, frequency. I mean, why is there no speed? Okay, there we go. Hold on. Let's let's just pump it up. That's a hundred and fifty knot wind. I'm not touching the stick. Okay. Now it's a little bit dodgy, but... Oh! It's going really fast. It's going really fast. It's going really fast. I'm still not touching it, though. Yeah, overstretched it. Okay, but 150 might be... It's oscillating. Yeah, I mean, 150, the plane can't even do 150, so... I decided to go with some more reasonable settings. Uh, setting three wind layers with 50 to 70 knot winds and changing the directions and the gust directions, but making a crosswind so it's not uh, parallel with the runway. Making sure of that. 
though that one is a little bit parallel right there. But anyway, it'll definitely be challenging. The visual effects and sound effects are great. I don't know if they come through with all the compression, like I said, because this is a lower quality video than I normally try and put on YouTube. But yep, we will see if I can take off and land in this kind of weather. That should be interesting. So back to the original audio. I'm so sort of surprised it's not like partly in the air right now, but okay, I get maybe we're pointing in the wrong direction. Oh, I wanted to be in Orlando. Oh well, let's just go. My hand is off the stick right now. It sounds great. We're sort of going in a circle. The rain effects are very nice. Okay, I'm gonna take control again. Let's try and land. You can see even with all the shaking, it's actually not very hard to uh, keep the plane going in the same direction. Considering it's such a slow plane, uh, the gusts should be far more intimidating. Mm. Ground speed 50 knots, while the airspeed is 96. So we'll have a pretty serious crosswind when we try and land, because I set it angled to the runway. might be very difficult for me, we'll see. Nope, I think the wind is such that I need to compensate a little bit more. Oh, we're almost at a standstill. Wait, wait. Let's see, look at the ground speed. 10, 12 knots. For a little bit there we were in single digits. Well, this is going to be interesting. Oh no, don't, 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 Okay. I didn't break it, I swear. So after that, I decided to go to Orlando and fly to Pitt Special there, first flying to the downtown area to see what it looked like, and then heading to Disney World. By the time we got to Disney World, it was pretty dark though, so in the middle of that, I decided to turn time back, basically. So here we are at Disney World and I'll leave it to the original commentary.
But you can uh, probably recognize the dome of Epcot Center right there. Okay, we'll change the... Uh, uh, it looks so nice in sunset. But. Oop, not what I want. Well, now it has to load all the other textures that it didn't load before. Hold on, it's it's frozen. This is awkward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, Disney probably paid for it, whereas NASA didn't, huh? <laughs> I mean, let's be reasonable here. And it's still not perfect perfect or anything, but it's pretty good, yeah. Sure, a lot of stuff at Disney World. Boy, they really took their time on this stuff too. You know what the thing is, though. Disney probably supplied some stuff, or I don't know. Maybe there was a bit Disney fan involved in Bing or something. Bing Maps Disney fan would do it. Hollywood, something or another town. Is that like some sort of wizarding thing? I mean, uh, there's the Harry Potter thing somewhere around, right? Half of it's like Hollywood backlots. So Disney World, everyone. So that was fun, but it's time for a serious challenge. One of my viewers, Broken Butler, wanted me to fly specifically from EDKL to EDKF in Germany. And these are both grass strips. And asked me to fly the Icon A5, but I thought it'd be a heck of a lot more interesting to fly the 787. So we're going to try and take off with the 787 and land with the 787 on these grass strips. Now I'm showing the lack of functionality of this particular screen, all those inoperant options there only the fuel display was actually working and it didn't even have a fuel flow indicator for the engines it only had the fuel quantity so i was a little bit sad by that and i was just complaining there i had to set up the reversers for the first time because for some reason they started me in the middle of the runway and i had plenty of space behind me so i needed to back up so here's me setting up the reversers but the way I have it, I've got a throttle quadrant and it's actually got sort of a button, if you will, when you hit zero on the throttle. And so I was using that zeroing to set uh, to initiate the reverser and that was a little bit finicky. But it seemed to work here and we'll see if it works when landing. Anyway, here is the original commentary. Okay. Uh, all right. I should have probably underfueled it, huh? All right, we made it. Well, I don't think I can land on the grass strip with this. That's a different story. Especially since the reverser is a bit finicky. EDKZ. Well, we we want to have an explosion to... Well, it doesn't have explosions though. Gosh darn it. I was about to say an explosion to wrap up the stream, but... Hmm.
Um, so it's this strip here. It's this area. Oh, okay, there's the hangars and such. Okay. Uh, well, this is a bad approach. It's right there. Um, so this is roughly tangents 135. Okay, so 45 then. Is that the right place? Or am I looking at the wrong place? <laughs> uh, I hope that's the right one. are collidable-ish, but don't actually kill you. It was almost, I could have probably done it better than that if I started reversing mid-air. It's pretty darn good, darn it. Also, I probably should have swerved to the right. I think it'll work better if I had swerved to the right. And there are, in retrospect, a few other things I could have done differently, but uh, that would take a little bit more practice. So anyway, for first try, I thought that was pretty good trying to land the 787 at this particular location. I later mentioned that it should be a landing challenge. Maybe they should add that. But anyway, uh, with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.